This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I wanted to check out one of these for a while. This is the Schecter Aaron Marshall signature. Uh, up close, it's got this kind of reminiscent of like the Ibanez type finishes that you might have seen on RGs, um, but like this cool kind of greeny blue. The highlight for me is this Wenge neck, which I think looks incredible. Feels really nice under the hand. You can really feel like a wood feeling. Chunky boy frets, stainless steel. All the kind of adult hardware, Goto and Hip Shop. Um, I haven't played it yet, but I grabbed it today off of Dave. Uh, let's give it a go, see what it sounds like. Thinking about it, it might be called Wenge actually, mightn't it? Anyway, so that's the first time playing a guitar that was all first take stuff, and uh, I have to say, I'm super, super, super enjoying that. The frets really are chunky. Um, the fretboard feels, you know, flat as you'd expect from this sort of guitar. If you're thinking about, you know, how does this sort of play, I'd say to me it feels sort of like a classed up sort of RG. Um, not worlds dissimilar from something like an Ibanez AZ, but the neck is slimmer than that. Um, and the you've got this kind of arch to the top, which to me is more reminiscent of something like a Mayonnaise guitar or May ones. I don't know. How do you even say that? Um, the hardware is all super high quality. You've got kind of O-rings on the metal tone pots here. The tip of the five-way feels like it's plastic. Um, aside from that, it feels like everything else on the guitar is really quite high quality stuff. And I'm very, very impressed by it. It just feels super precise. I don't know if that's like a a word that you'd use for this sort of thing but just a, a very precise feeling guitar and neat tidy does what you expect 
except I think actually these in-between positions, which have always been sort of, I grew up playing an Ibanez RG. I've always found the kind of two and four on these kind of guitars, really an intriguing sound. Sort of, you know, Petrucci used to use it quite a lot. Um, and I think it's got a real um, evocative kind of futuristic sound that I, I love. And this definitely has that in spades as well. So um, just everything about it, to me, they seem to have absolutely nailed, uh, of course. I think Aaron is into some of the same kind of guitar players and influences as I was as a kid as well. Um, your kind of prog rocky stuff, your Petrucci's, that sort of stuff. This neck join here, super, you know, futuristic -y kind of is mixing both kind of the Ibanez neck join and the Sir neck join, which is obviously a, a great thing. So you can get up to that 24th fret with zero issue at all. Um, that's not getting in the way. Uh, the neck feels slightly heavier than the body. I don't know whether this type of wood is particularly uh, dense, but the overall weight of the guitar is seven pounds and nine ounces. This one that is, um, which is a, a nice comfortable weight. I've noticed that some of the more modern Ibanez guitars come out slightly heavier than that. And that for me is not necessarily ideal because uh, typically you, they're using basswood and that sort of stuff. I need to check the specs on what the body wood here is, but it feels like something pretty lightweight. I also don't know, with the strings being set up this way, so obviously this is a reverse headstock. I've never played one before. It feels a bit weird to tune it up, but I'm thinking that the string tension must be different, mustn't it, by having this out further here. So maybe you end up with like this E string more suited to being down tuned and with a, I don't know, would that make a difference? Because you've got obviously a longer E string than usual and a shorter high E string than usual and everything else in the middle is kind of reversed as well. Uh, so I don't know what sort of difference that would actually make. Uh, if you look on the back of the headstock, you've got this kind of embossed, kind of stamped thing, which looks really, really, really classy. And I think everything about the guitar, to me, looks like the sort of thing that just works you know it's simple pretty elegant lines uh i guess sort of similar to a jackson as well in some ways um of course you've got this which i think is the ultimate sort of you know gigging and practical truss rod adjustment the only one thing that i would say about it is that for the money 1400 pounds i think is what they're selling for at the moment i'd probably be hoping to get a gig bag at least um maybe even a hard case but I guess, you know, that's just one of those factors. The fretboard inlays as well, I think, looks super classy. So overall, a great modern instrument, and I'd definitely be looking at one of these if you're in the world of the, the Super Strat, if you're looking at things like Sir Moderns, if you're looking at things like Ibanez RGs, if you're looking at thing like, things like Ibanez AZs. Um, these types of guitars, they've also got a seven-string model, I think, hard tail. And I think in future there's going to be a US model, which I'd be really excited to try out. I don't know if you're going to be watching this, Aaron, but I'm really, really impressed by this. And I think you're going to see it on the channel more because I think, you know, sometimes I'm looking for a bit more of a modern kind of instrument to just bring out something a little bit different. Um, it's not going to be worlds different from anything you'd hear me playing on any other guitar, but it is 24 frets. I don't have any other guitar with 24 frets except for the baritone, um, which does, you know, you reach for different things. And yeah, I, I just think it's a really cool looking instrument. So good work, Aaron. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you tried one. Schecter, I think, are really, really consistent from the feedback that I've got on the Schecter Nick Johnson guitars. Um, I had one of those, which I eventually sold, but I was really impressed by that for the money. And um, I think they're putting out really high quality gear especially for Indonesian made stuff. Um, I'd be really interested to try the US stuff at some point as well, but overall super impressed. So top work. Um, so I think if you're in the the world of looking for a super strat, Schecter, the Aaron Marshall should 100% be on your list. Um, maybe if you're just looking for something a little bit different, a little bit futuristic, um, I think this should be there as well. The neck feels amazing under the hand. It's just such an awesome finish to play. I've never really felt anything quite like that. I, I love the feel. You can feel like the pause, um, but it's just super smooth, just beautiful. Top work.